Uh, are there any uh, reports from special committees from the council? Uh, Councilor Mangini. Yes. I do want to <clears throat> comment on the um, uh, concern that the residents have, and I share, over uh, schools, buildings, safety. <clears throat> we do have a committee of comprised of uh, our police department, our fire department, town staff, liaisons from the council that <clears throat> have been and will continue to meet, <clears throat> excuse me, on a regular basis to review and address issues. Those issues are not going to be brought public because the issues are of sensitive nature where, um, <clears throat> you know, requiring um, methods that that our PD and our experts are privy to to protect our school buildings. So having said that, I just want the people to know that the concerns are not falling on deaf ears. That's not happening at all. These issues are being addressed and they're being done very appropriately. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Are there any other uh, reports of special committees? I, I do want to have one uh, thing to mention, just a reminder, and this was also discussed at the Commission on Aging, um, about we're a reminder for the residents that we are establishing a tax relief uh, committee in the coming weeks. And once again, if anybody's interested in serving, and I know that some people have put their names forward, um, but you should make an application to the town manager's office so that we can start making appointments moving forward. Thank you. All right, item 11, unfinished business. There are none. Moving on to item 12, discussion resolution, request for a bid waiver to retain an independent review of the reval process. Now, um, since we're looking to uh, I will entertain uh, discussion if we're ready to move forward with this or we look, look we look the table for it. Um, so, yeah. No, it's already on the table, yeah. Uh, so, listen, I, if I, I know you don't have to remove it, it's on it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, again, I, I want everyone to be comfortable. So if some people here want to have a little more say, that's not a bad thing for as a town councilor. So if they, I'm, again, I, this is important because this is not just for this year. This sets, as we move forward, again, some of these folks shouldn't have to come back to the assessor appeal every, I mean, to the board every year. So some counselors have some reservations. They want to be able to maybe interview the individual. I don't know, maybe we, the individual, we, we schedule an interview. Folks can talk to them. So it delays a little bit, but gives everyone some comfort. People have to be comfortable. This is a council decision. And so again, I'm okay. I would lo I appreciate wanting to move forward because I've been calling for this. So again, full disclosure. But I also understand other counselors who have some reservations, and so I'm not. This is not something I want to jam down someone's throat who may say, "Look, I would like maybe to interview the individual," or "Yeah, maybe I would want to go to bid. Maybe this is that important that we want to solicit other opportunities, interview them. Maybe it takes a little longer, but that that's a counselor has a right to." You know, to sort of have that view, and and this not to be a, a, a this should be a nine ten zero vote. So if someone's uncomfortable with that, I'm more than willing to wait to make sure we take care of everyone's concerns. Because again, it, it deals with town staff, it deals with our independent BAA, and of course our residents. So this is not just one thing we're reviewing here. There's multiple different things we're reviewing, and everyone deserves to be comfortable in what we're doing. And so I'm more than willing to wait if other folks would like to sort of, again, you know, hey, what's interview? We would like to, like to meet the person first, talk to them, make sure everyone's comfortable. Or if you want to go to bed, I'm okay with that too. So, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm fine either way. I just want people to be comfortable. And if other people have reserves, then they, I mean, reservations about not, not being able to have a say in the, the recommendation, then that's a valid point in my opinion. So that's all I'm saying. Okay, th thank you. Uh, Councilor Pisner. Okay, as I said before, um, yes, I want to see this resolved. And I want to see it resolved quickly. But it's more about accuracy. And it's about gaining the respect back of our citizens. I would like to be a bigger part in choosing. As a counselor, we're the governing body. And the residents of this town look to us. So for me, 
I would like a list, and I would like it to either go out to the RFP, or I would like a list, and we can interview and ask questions. I think we owe it to the citizens. Councillor I agree with Councillor Pisner. I think I'd like to be a part of the process of uh, selecting who we get. Oh, if we're going down the line. Yeah, we're, yeah let's go right down <laughs> the line. I'm ready to vote tonight. Yeah. Like I stated before, I am ready to vote tonight myself. <clears throat> I'm also ready to vote for a couple of reasons. One, this is a situation where time is of the essence, and we have an issue that needs to be resolved. And as Councilman Ludwig mentioned earlier, we're not meeting again until July and then again in August. But beyond all that, I have faith in our town attorney and our town staff. You've done the vetting. I don't have knowledge as to which law firm or which attorney is um, competent, sufficient, qualified to handle this task. I deter it to you. That's what we pay you for. So thank you for doing the work. I'm ready to vote on this. Thank you, Councillor Hopkins. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I um, also appreciate the hard work of town staff and have confidence in town staff, but to me this is a matter of process. Um, this issue has been kicking around, this constellation of issues has been kicking around for some weeks now. Um, I haven't been briefed on it. I don't think that the council as a, as a full group has been briefed on it. This is a serious thing. Um, I don't know where the facts are. I'm not sure. Uh, I would like some kind of understanding where that is. As I mentioned before, uh, in the charter, the council has the duty and rights to investigate town departments. And to me, it seems more appropriate for this to start there. And I think we should move quickly. I agree with my colleagues. But to go to this uh, at, at the first glance is, is not the way I would want to do it. So I, I, uh, I do not want to move forward on this today. But I can definitely see it resulting in an independent investigation. I just think it's really out of order. Councilor Santanella. Well, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think we're going to have the votes to vote tonight. Um, and so, you know, we're also not going to wait until July. Let's have a special meeting uh, next week or tomorrow or Friday or Thursday. But, you know, um, we're, we owe it to folks to get this done. And we're not going to dilly dally getting it done. So, these people, uh, you know, I believe this is a specialty, as Attorney Talberg has communicated to us. We, we can't just let the very few people, I can't imagine there's thousands of people practicing law in Connecticut who do this work. It sounds about as dry as a bone. So we, we, can't, lose, we can't lose people, and then we're gonna have nobody to pick from. So we're gonna have to roll up our sleeves, and we're gonna just have to keep coming back here until we can find somebody. But we're, we're not waiting until July. I don't think that anybody here deserves us dilly-dallying. So. so, yes or no, Jen? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't have, we don't well, have six votes. I would vote now, but we, we don't have six votes. Councilor Fenger. Uh, through the mayor to the town attorney, the only thing I am really disagreeing about is when you and the town manager met with these people or discussed it, you did your research on them, then you said that you made a decision on us. I didn't see anything in, in my in my emails as a council emailer that you were doing all this. You know, I'm told that again, new street guy, not a businessman, not not a, very much of a college person, that you were going to interview all these people or th thought about it. I saw something today uh, in one of your replies, but that was it. But I mean, I just think that if something that we're supposed to be be doing as the body, we should have been more involved with the process of what you and the town manager were doing. That's my only thing. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, that's the way I see it. If I may, just point of order, respond to that. Uh, Councilor, because of FOI, when the group meets as a group, you have to announce it publicly. We, you can't meet secretly and have us update you about what's going on. We have to do it in a public format like this. And so information, my understanding, was communicated to leadership. It should have filtered out from there. Plus, an email was, was sent to everybody. I think there might just be a misunderstanding through the mayor that there were actual meetings and interviews. That wasn't the case. It was a, a culling of names based on the specialty and availability and people who do not have conflicts with Enfield at this time. So the list continued to shrink like that. I have not met any of the people. I'm not sure if you... Yeah, I interviewed two. I interviewed two of the three and, and ran the facts by them and tried to weed out conflicts and ended up with the one who didn't have the conflict. 
and was the best candidate that we brought forward. I mean, again, you know, I, I totally agree with, you know, Consular Santanello, you know, a lot of respect. You know, you're a very intelligent individual and we pay you to do this job. I just wish I knew more about it. I mean, and I, it's probably my fault, too. I've had a few uh, setbacks the last couple of weeks. So, um, but I just think that I'm, I'm ready to vote tonight along with everybody else. Thank you. Based on what I, what I just heard right now, item number 12, uh, the request for a bid waiver to retain an independent review of the revaluation issues. Um, so we're, we're looking at uh, for a motion to table this for the time being so that everybody can be satisfied with, with, with the process. We just will stay on, okay? It so will stay on the table. We don't have to vote on it, and we just move forward with it. We, everybody in agreement to that, we will table this, and then we will reconvene and discuss this as a, as a group. Question? So could you just enumerate what you want those next steps to be? Would you like an RFP, or would you like to bring in the people that had been vetted, or the one person, I guess, that at this point isn't in conflict? Would you like us to widen the search? Just if you could just give us some ideas of how you see this moving forward, well, I we'd think be sure you know with, with the recommendation that that you gave to us. I think you know we 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 should interview okay. uh, that that firm, and if there's uh, any other firms that are available, then we could interview them. Okay. To the to the town manager through the mayor. Um, I mean, my, my excuse me, Mr. Hopkins. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Um, some some additional thoughts I was hearing just to, to kind of crystallize this. Um, I think there were also some questions about having a special meeting and getting to more, know more about the facts of the issue. Not, I mean, my own personal concerns are not with the law firms at all. It's really needing to know more information about the situation before making a determination that a independent review uh, that we're paying for is really the best way to go. So that's that would be where my thoughts are, and I, I communicated that last meeting as well. So. No. I'm not sure how that would be accomplished. I mean, the, I, I think that if the town council wants to be involved in the vetting process, that is absolutely appropriate, and we can make that happen so that your comfort level with whomever is chosen mm -hmm. is good. But you're, in essence, choosing someone to conduct the investigation independently and without bias, and then to present you with a report. So Correct. I guess I'm a little confused about what input you would have in actually defining the scope there, because I think it's pretty clear what the scope is. It's the beginning of the revaluation process all the way through the um, interaction with the public, the office, the role of the BAA, and the final product of the grand list and the, and the valuations and everything in between. So there's a chronological timeline and there's a ton of data for them to mine. And I think that, um, you know, your comfort level is, is important, but all everything else is going to work itself out in the actual contract that you make with the independent review. Anything right. in addition to that could possibly be construed as influencing or conflicting with that independent review. All right. Well, this is why I, we want to move for, forward with the independent review and, um, and schedule up uh, a meeting so that we can interview the uh, prospective firm. And if there is a other pool, right. then we can, um, you know, also interview any other prospective uh, firms that are available. Okay. So our charge will be to schedule a meeting at the at a time when the majority of the council is available to interview the recommendation from the town attorney's office to start, or do you want Correct. additional names added? Well, we would first start with him and then additional names. Okay. Oh. Go ahead, Deputy Mayor Scala. Like we're just going to go around in circles. So right. this is what I've heard when I was up here, is that we have some counselors who are ready to go now. We have some counselors that really wanted to go to an RFP, which is something very different. I believe, and I don't want to misunderstand what you're saying, but I think Councillor Hopkins wants to be briefed on what this person or firm or even us would be looking at before we go to the next step, which would be the independent contract. 
contractor review. So it sounds like maybe you want like an executive session to kind of get the facts from sort of how they're, I don't know, how they, how they add up from all sides and sort of then figure out if you believe that there should be an independent party. Um, I don't believe that we should be interviewing um, or that we really need to interview several candidates. I don't know if that means we want to interview the three that Jim has or if we want to just have Jim come in and then he can give us a synopsis of those three. I feel like I, I, we're just going to go around in circles um, because I think we all want something different. That's my. That's what I'm hearing. So I wish I could give you a charge, but I don't know that I have one because I don't think that there's a uniform charge here. I think some people want it done with who you're recommending. Some people want it to go to RFP, and some people, I believe, think that maybe we should be the first step and then decision if there is a, an independent review. But I don't want to misstate um, what you're stating. Go ahead, Councilor Mangini. I, I couldn't agree with um, Deputy Mayor Sakala more. You said exactly what I was going to say, but I want to add to that. <clears throat> if our town attorney has already vetted a couple of firms and several attorneys and has some reservations, it sounds like, about perhaps a couple, and he's um, bringing forward the name of a attorney or law firm that would be able to handle the situation, why are we going to be ourselves looking at a pool? More than likely, that pool is going to consist of what our town attorney has already vetted and the one that he's recommending. So maybe we can get rid of that piece and focus on who and, and why uh, and how do certain council people want to get involved in this? We should we should not, and we don't have any business micromanaging town staff, first of all and foremost. And then second of all, for what purpose? I guess I'm confused there. So we need to give clear direction to town staff, but I'm really not sure what is the clear direction. Thank you. Just one other brief right. thing. Thank you, Mr. Councilor Mayor. Hopkins. Uh, just to just to be clear on the process, so we do have the power to investigate town departments. Now, that's just generally speaking. It's very clearly in the charter. I'm not saying that that's necessarily should be the case here. I just want to understand more about the problems that folks have raised. Maybe those aren't real. Maybe those are real. But we absolutely have the power to do that. The question is, do we then want to say, hey, let's farm that out to a independent law firm? Could make sense. I just need to know more about this and especially because it's in the charter. Now, it's just clearly the first step for this kind of thing. A lot of concerns raised. I think we should take this uh, very, we should act very carefully, but also quickly. Any other comments for anybody? Uh, I mean, I agree. I agree. I mean, I think I would like to, I would personally like to interview the law. I don't know why that's, I'd like to, I mean, again, we're dealing with different subsets of the popula of our town here. I like to interview the person and then to see what the scope of what they're going to do. And if folks want to send an RFP out simultaneously, if they don't like them, you already have that process, not to the people maybe our town attorneys already looked at. Maybe there are others out there. That's just a suggestion. So you're going simultaneously. But again, I've, in my opinion, I think, again, I, I agree. It's in the charter. Councilor Hopkins is correct. We have the legislative and investigative authority as a council. And this is a big this is a big deal. And and I agree. We need everyone's got to be comfortable. And I like I said, I I think I would like to personally interview the lawyer. I would like to you know, if we have a chance and if it only delays it a week, it delays it a week. And if other people get the feeling that this person's gonna be in, impartial, they're gonna understand what the scope of the investigation is going to be, then maybe we don't have to send an R you know, we can rescind the you can always rescind an RFP. You can just say, Look, we found somebody, you rescind the RFP. If you do it all at once, you're covered, and that sort of should cover what others' concerns are. And I think everyone's concerns are valid here. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, when you're investigating stuff, it's serious. It's everyone should be on board, and, and that's just, you know, I think if it takes an extra week or two, then so be it. Okay. Okay. And listening to whatever everybody has to, to say, um, I think first, first and foremost, we would like to set up and talk to the firm okay that that that'll be num number one and then 
we'll get a feeling at that point, and then we can determine where we're going to go from there. If, we're, we are, if we are all comfortable with this particular firm, and they give us the scope and the sequence of, of what they're going to be doing and what they're going to be covering, and if we're all comfortable with that, then we can proceed forward. If not, then we will look at other firms. But step number one, let's go with that. All right. Understood, Mr. Okay. Mayor. Thank All you right. for the Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for your input in regard to this. Not, not an easy uh, situation here.